Hello again, self suckers. Welcome to week 6's video. Last week was full of high octane NFL action, and some more fun headlines. John Gruden is now out as the Raiders head coach, after some locker room talk was exposed through some weird WikiLeaks type email shit. The Packers and Bengals decided to try and break the record for the most missed field goals in a quarter, looking like they were intentionally shaving points. And of course, our Dallas mother of fucking Cowboys brought home yet another W4 our fan base. Getting a big help from Saquon Barkley. Daniel Jones. He'll have to come out of the game if they are going for it. Oh man. And some guy named Tony, who can throw a punch to save his life. Eat our shit NFC East. Last week, your well endowed, genius of a fantasy guru, correctly predicted 4 of the 5 games last week. Bringing my total weekly prediction record, to 15 and 10. I'm so money, and I don't even know it baby. I feel like it's writing on me, okay. Now, you know what time it is. Let's take a look back at our matchups from week 5. First up, we have Alex's Timo Queers, who took on Archibald Meatpunts. Alex came into this game with his dick on fire, after winning two games straight, and looking for his third. Luckily, Ezekiel Elias and Dak Prescott delivered for Alex in a big way, as his team took this one, 120.58, to 82.18. For Brendan, he got a nice performance from Kareem Hunt, who put up 23 points, but that's about where his luck ends. Every other player underperformed, and he decided yet again, to leave an injured Julio Jones in his lineup for the second straight week. Amazing moves, just top notch player management Brendan. At least you have that new ride of yours, so you can still ride around like a loser, just in style. The player of this game was, Young Huku. Next up, we will take a look at the matchup between, Jake off all day, and the Texas Rams. In a game that looked as though Jake was all but cooked, it ended up being a pretty close affair, after sexy Tom Brady put up 5 touchdowns, torching the Dolphins defense. Close, but no cigar unfortunately, as Zach ended up winning this game, 137, to 130.64. For Jake. He did much better this week than last week, getting good performances from C.D. Lamb and Deandre Hopkins. And once again getting a ridiculous score from the Buffalo Bills defense who put up 17 points against the Chiefs. Zach had some good performances on Thursday night from the Rams, and then Alvin Kamara and Mike Williams sealed the deal, bringing home a victory for Zach, who now sits in 5th place. Should have rolled with Leonard Fournette like I had said Jake. The football fantasy guru knows all. The player of this game was Mike Williams. Up next, we take a look at King Cobra JFS, versus fucking by week. Oh and yeah, oh fuck yes, yes daddy. King Cobra looked like a team full of football gods this week, as he cooked up, and delivered, a fresh, hot, steaming pile of fantasy football feces onto Box's plate, and spoon fed him all day. Dismantling fucking by week, 170.50, to 88.82 and also getting the honor of being this week's, biggest blowout. King Cobra's entire team went off, they were led by the ever dependable, and well endowed, Josh Allen, and Derek Henry. Scoring 40 points more than predicted, and taking over first place. Box got a lights out performance from Justin Herbert, who is quickly becoming an elite level quarterback 
but sadly, there was little else done by his team. Especially not George Kittle who was left in his starting lineup while being on IR. David is on fire, He's and on looking fire! to leave a trail of trolls on his path to the championship. The player of this game was Kyle Stinky Pitts. Who decided London was the place he would finally fucking do something. Next, we take a look at the matchup that was between Buckerson and Myers, and Barrett I don't know what I'm doing 50 cal. Whoa, I mean, just wow. How shitty can your luck be these past two weeks Chad? You played to people who completely ignored their team, left injured people in their lineups, and still somehow lost again, 129.66. To 111.08. Talk about a swift kick to the ball sack. Chad had the lead going into Sunday night, after getting a nice performance from Alexander Matteson, but, after the aforementioned Saquon Barkley ankle rodel in the first quarter of the Cowboys, it was all downhill. Tanner won this game solely because of the great play from Jonathan Taylor and Nick Chubb, while getting some nice bonus points from Greg the Leg Zuling. Even the godly 41 point game from Lamar Jackson couldn't save Chad's shit fantasy football luck. It may be time to start rolling with that weird manic Antonio Brown more. The player of this game was Nick, I have a big chub. To wrap up our weekly rewind, we have the game between Dario vs Bishop Sycamore. How does it taste Dario? To finally have to savor the agonizing pain of defeat at the hands of this guy? We had a great game between these two, and it came down right to the end, with Dario putting his hopes on the leg of Justin Tucker. But unfortunately, came up just short, losing this game, 129.88, to 127.38. Just as I had predicted. Dario had another nice performance from James Robinson, and a monster game from Mike Evans. But came up just short. Too bad you didn't make that Cordell Patterson switch in time Wampus Cats. Just another reminder to everyone, to be checking your schedules for those dreaded AM games being played over in Red Coat territory. Jake got monster games from Devon Adams, Jammer Chase, and Austin Eckler. Putting up a combined 87 points alone. And knocked Dario out of first place, securing a spot for King Cobra. Thank God, and the Cleveland Browns for this gift wrapped Austin Eckler touchdown. The player of this game was Jamer Chase. Now, for something a little different this week. We are going to speed run our week 6 picks. Partly because I want to finish Deus Ex, but largely because I am a lazy fuck, who is drunk on cheap wine, and shoveling handfuls of cheese its into my food holster. Suck it dry you little bitches. King Cobra controls all King Cobra controls all King Cobra controls. But George Washington didn't do shit. He can suck my fucking dick. I fucking hate that faggot.